the 14 of Don Burner. Green flag flies. We're going to begin this 20 lap feature. Dunsworth all the way around in front of the field. Look at them bombers go. They split the distance. They go right around him. They do not draw a yellow, but just like that, first to last for the 15 machine of Dunsworth. The 545 goes ahead and gets himself around. Hopefully he can get it refired. Going again. He's going again. Weebato continues to lead these drivers around. Brian Hyatt currently in second, followed by Jacob Strait and Jason Knuppel. All the way at the top side of the racetrack, the yellow flag is going to fly. That's going to be for John Bix. Jersey Mike subs. Green flag flies one more time for Toby Weebato. Don Burner on the bottom side of the racetrack with everybody else up top. Looks like he just kind of drives around them there on the bottom. Webato continues to lead with Don Burner in that second place spot, followed by Jacob Street and Brian Hyatt. Brandon Varney trying to make his way up there as Hyatt loops it around there in turn number two. Tries to get going a little before maybe he should have. Almost takes Gary Ray in the 62 machine with him. Caden Brinkner trying to work his way through the field in a 0X. Got a little smoke coming out of the back of the car, but having a good run for the young man. Makes his way past the seven of Rick Hughes. So good two and three wide racing coming out of the bomber division here at Arizona Speedway once again. gets a little loose coming out of turn four. Nine laps in the books, 11 laps left to go. Webato still continues to lead this thing. Knuppel, Mabbitt. Looks like Guile having a great battle back there. Not really where they want to be, but still a good race back there for eighth, ninth, and tenth spot. Webato continues to lead lap number 11. Zero 
flex machine of Caden Brigner starting to smoke more and more lap after lap. We'll see if he can finish the final eight laps of this bomber feature. Battle on the track now for that race lead between Wibato and Don Berner. Wibato has the preferred line all the way at the top side of the racetrack. Berner has kind of went away from that bottom line that served him pretty well at the beginning of this race. Oh, tough break for your leader. Looks like he went to turn left and he went right. So maybe a flat tire on that 25 machine. He's going to lose the race lead, trying to make his way into the hot pits. Lost a front right tire there. Was the race leader, the 25 of Wibato. Hands over the race lead to the 14 of Don Berner. Brian Hyatt exits the track. Caden Brigner in the 0-2. Should have... Should have taken his car off the racetrack, but did not. He's going to draw a yellow. Green flag flies. Bomber Don Burner going to lead him around one more time. 15 laps and looks. Five laps left to go. Jacob Street right behind him, the 22 car. Brandon Varney making a move for that second place spot. Gets around Jacob Strait. So Varney having a good run after the race director wanted to kick him off the track. Got a little bit of smoke coming out of the back of his car. Probably a good call to leave him on. He's in second. Aaron saved the day and left him on the racetrack. You can see the dust starting to kick up just a little bit. That's the difference between the Hoosier race tires and the street tires. People wonder why the Bombers run last most nights here. They are pretty tough on the racetrack. It's almost harder to keep the racetrack good for the Bomber division than it is for any other division out here. So dust starting to kick up. When the dust kicks up, means it gets a little bit slick. The 22 car just finds that out. Varney gets sideways. Mabbitt comes from the last place, 19th starting spot, up into second place with three laps, now two laps left to go. Anybody looking for a yellow flag, it is going to be Jacob Mabbitt. White flag going to fly. Just one more lap around the racetrack for Bomber Don Burner. Dunsworth all the way sideways coming out of turn number two gets it back under control that is the 15 machine he was your pole setter coming out of turn number four for the final time gonna lead him around to the checkered flag that is the 14 of Don Burner gonna be Don Burner followed by Jacob Mabbitt Brandon Varney nope Varney drops back another spot followed by Jacob Mabbitt Rick Hughes Brandon Varney and Jacob Strait Crawling out of the car, another race win here tonight. The 14. Don, good run out there. You had a fast race car. You came from, uh, I think you came from eighth or tenth spot, and you made your way up to the front, took the lead, and uh, Toby had a little bit of trouble down there in turn one. You capitalized on it and picked up the race win tonight. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Toby there. I, I don't think I would have got him. He was too good up there. Uh, first thing I want to say, though, is uh, Bubba got hurt down at Casa Grand tonight. Uh, I know it's a different track, but still, it, it's an official, and he got hit by a car, uh, broke his leg in two places, and uh, uh, thoughts are with him, please. Uh, but thank all my sponsors. Thank you, Jonah, for having a great track for us. Appreciate it, guys. You ran a great race. You got any sponsors you want to thank, or you just do it all on your own? Heck no, man. I'm helping you out here, right? I know. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, Frank's Auto and Truck Salads, ABR Creations, CJ's Automotive, Houston Racing Engines, uh, Perfect Degree Air, Brake Masters, uh, <laughs> uh, Southwest T-Shirt Company, Finishing Line Professional Home Repair, Suck Extreme Graphics, Studs Professional Transmissions, Captain's Food and Spirits, that's the best. Duffman Sells Houses, there we go, that's the number one there. And uh, Morgan Mechanical, thank you so much. Thank you, fans. Appreciate it. Have a great one. Great job, John. We'll see you here uh, two weeks.